We pay judges and we pay for the courts to operate with our taxes, but there are fees involved and costs involved in going to court. What would you have our viewers know about those costs and what's all involved? Sure, uh, Mike. Uh, that phrase, court cost, is mentioned quite a lot in litigation, and it means a variety of things. It, it could include actual the filing fee to get yourself into court, whether that's a complaint in a civil case or uh, maybe in a divorce action, you file a custody petition, so the filing fees are are part of that, then it also costs money, Mike, just to run the court system. So if you want to serve subpoenas during your lawsuit, that costs money. Uh, any kind of transcripts that you might need from one hearing to the next or transcripts of depositions, which are is testimony taken under oath, uh, those are all uh, recordable uh, court cost fees. Uh, same thing with court reporters. And then a lot of times, Mike, we pay uh, jury stipends to the people who actually serve jury mm -hmm. duty. Mm -hmm. uh, those can also be recoverable as court costs. So litigants uh, not only have to pay their attorneys at the end of a case, but sometimes the judge will award uh, what's called court cost. The judge is in charge and the judge also has right. discretion on some of the charges. He can make the ones that lose the case, pay them all or share them. It's really up to him, right? right. Most of the, yes, he can, um, he or she can. Uh, most of the time they're the order will say, most of the time it'll say court costs are taxed as paid, meaning whoever paid them to begin with, we're just going to leave it how That's it done. is. But yeah. the judge does have the power to award the non-prevailing uh, side those, those court costs. Mm -hmm.